Hello, my name is Dr. Anupama Srikant. I'm a senior consultant in anesthesiology and pain and palliative medicine, practicing at a leading hospital in Bangalore. Ultrasound and guided nerve blocks. Basically, to know that first we know what are nerve blocks. Nerve blocks are nothing but the practice of regional anesthesia or local anesthesia, wherein we deposit the local anesthetic close to the nerves and block the pain pathways. In olden days, we were doing it by a blind technique based on our knowledge of the anatomical structures where you do a surface marking on the body surface and block the nerves. Later, there's an advancement to the use of nerve stimulators where again it was a technically a blind procedure but where you stimulate the nerves and see the response of the reflexes. Now, as Peterson and Miller have explained in British Journal of Anesthesia, what would be an ideal nerve block? It's nothing but the ability to deposit precisely the concise amount of a local anesthetic as close to the nerve as possible without damaging the nerve or the structures around it. There comes the role of ultrasound guidance imaging used in the nerve blocks. In 1978, Lagrange and colleagues have used the Doppler ultrasound imaging to block supraclavicular nerves and there they got 98% success rate with no complications. And by 1990s, there's a rampant use of ultrasound guided imaging for nerve block techniques by anesthetists all over the world till date. To know what is ultrasound guided nerve blocks, you have to know first what is ultrasound guided imaging. These are nothing but the transmission of the ultrasonic sound waves where in the area of interest you place the transducer. You send ultrasonic sound waves, these get reflected by the various structures of the body back onto the receptors and this is processed through a data receptor and displayed onto the screen where you can beautifully see the various structures of the body like the nerves, blood vessels, muscles, tissue, cystic structures, bones etc. This immensely helps us in real time nerve block technique where you can totally avoid the structures like blood vessels and other arteries etc. Well, what are the benefits of an ultrasound guided nerve blocks? First of all, it's an inexpensive method, portable, non-invasive method of practice. Here, it shortens the duration of the performance of the nerve block. It shortens the onset of the nerve block also. It also reduces the number of needle passages through the bodily structures. And the local anesthetic doses which are required are also reduced because you are very close to the nerve structure. It's immensely useful wherever there is an anatomical variation where normally in a blind technique you would have failed 